Hi everyone, my name is Kathleen Kaler and I am a teaching artist. Today I'm going to show you how to do some sun printing. So if you followed my videos, you'll know that I love using nature as a co-creator. So today I wanted to co-create with the sun and a little water and some acrylic. And that's all you need to create these beautiful sun prints. This, I used some magazine cutouts to create my silhouettes. This I uh, created on a bag and then here I put one on a tote as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get started. So today I just wanted to show you an alternative to sun printing. If you don't have the sienna type paper, you can use paint. So I today I'm gonna use this fluid acrylic paint. I also have this um, studio acrylic, which is a little bit thicker. And the key is to make sure that you have um, the paint watered down a little bit so it makes a nice coating over the material you're gonna be using. So I'm using this turquoise color. I also have a brush you'll wanna get. Um, it depends on the space you're using. This size, you could use a medium sized brush. I'm gonna go a little bit bigger and use this wide brush just so I can get a lot of coverage over my space. And then I also have this cup of water and this is to water down your paint if it's too thick. And you can also use different colors. You can use multicolors um, together when you put the wash down. And yeah, so feel free to experiment with different colors. You could do a rainbow, you could do ombre. So have fun with it and really go for it. All right, so let me show you the um, supplies you will be using for when you're printing. Um, I, so today I'm gonna be using this canvas bag and I did a Sumanagashi print on it, but it came out a little light, so I thought it'd be cool to add the sun print on top of it. And this is just 100% cotton canvas. You can also use, if you have canvas, I have these other sheets of canvas at home. So anything cotton, just like any printmaking, I love just natural fabrics because it'll, it'll really soak up the inks. And then I have this peace sign, and this is the um, silhouette I'll be using to print. So you're also going to need magazines, and the peace sign I made from a magazine. Um, they're great for inspiration. You can go through and look for different silhouettes to cut out. And you can also use patterns. I found these patterns for the inspiration for that wavy piece I made in a magazine, and I just cut them out. Also, magazines are great because the material of it, it's really thick, so it will, it will take the print really well because it has to have a heavy coating and the sun won't blast through it. So I'm gonna get started and show you the process. I have a piece of cardboard which I'm gonna stick inside of my bag so it, the paint doesn't go through to the other side. I just wanna print on one side. And then, I'm just gonna start brushing the paint on. And my paint is looking a little thick even though it is a liquid acrylic. I'm gonna add a little water. And then I'm gonna start brushing it on my bag. So I just keep adding a little bit more water. I just want to make sure that you have a nice thin coating because you don't want like globs of paint on it. So I'm gonna go all around and create big enough space for my peace sign. bit more water so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more water to the edges to make it maybe a step lighter than this darker blue in the middle to create a little border for my my peace sign Let's see what that looks like now I'm gonna put the peace sign back on top to see if I have enough space 
It looks good. Great, so I might go in just a touch more with the, the darker blue. And I like that I can still see the Sumi print behind it. So it'll be like three layers of prints. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and place my peace sign on top. And you just wanna give it a firm push just to get it to tack on to the paint when it's wet. It won't be on there completely. You don't need to glue it down, but you just want it tacked on so it doesn't blow away. And if you are outside and it's windy, um, you can put like heavier weight items on top. You could put like little rocks. I did that. I had like pebbles in my yard. So I put like little stones on top just to hold it down because it was windy. Um, if you have plexiglass, you can use that too. That's classic in sun printing, a piece of plexiglass on top. But right now it looks like it's going to stay by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and put this out in the sun for about 30 minutes and then I'll bring it back and show you what happened. Okay, so I finished my printing process and I will take off the peace sign. That's the big reveal. I like how it came out. Although I'll give you a little secret. It, the edges were soft when I first brought it in the house. So I went over it with a little um, of my paint marker. So if you wanna add any touch-ups at the end, that's totally fine. This is your art and it's just part of the process. You might have soft edges, Whereas in other prints, you might have very detailed edges and you won't even have to add anything. Um, here's an example. This was out in the sun for two hours and it's a little bit more crisp, so I didn't have to go over it with anything. And this one came out very subtle and it was in the sun for about 45 minutes. So you can see the difference in timing. If, the, if it is in the sun longer, you're gonna get a crisp print. So that's just a little troubleshooting, so you know. Um, and then any other instructions, I will just leave below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. It's been so fun sharing all my favorite art processes with you. If you haven't seen my other videos, I did a Sumanagashi one and um, flower printing. So check it out. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.